uh, now that the horses are home, we are developing our new routine. Our tack room is still a huge mess. We have stuff everywhere. We are just moving in. It's really short. But we're gonna show you our nighttime Maybe routine. This is really short. <laughs> it's like I'm gonna, I gonna rip that down. No, like the doorway is just so short. It's not the doorway. It's that thing hanging down. All right, go under. Oh. <laughs> All right. So, nighttime routine. We. I tell her that. No. Step on your regular feet. No. Well, so. Yeah, we are always ducking. Wow, the lights are on. This is our first night home. <laughs> and he's like, hell. And they understand that it's grain time. Hey, storm. And then over this. <laughs> yeah, Willow's here. Okay, so Willow, you're supposed to be over here. Yeah. Chino's staying out. Wow. Look at that. Yeah, I need more shaving savings. We're gonna need more. So how come we got the the blue buckets uh, instead of red? The red ones are ones in the trailer, and the other one's not ready yet. So. All right. Well, when we are ready, like in a couple of days, we will have it all set up for Storm. Storm's gonna go in a stall at night. Um, there's a salt lick here. Yeah, I put it there. Oh, salt. I have salt. And we will go with America. Right? Yeah. <laughs> They're all excited. All right. <laughs> we had like a little bit of a salt lick left. I brought it home because we have to go get him one. Uh -oh. Yeah, we're going to... That's your new stall, story boy. So we talked Gabby into to using this one. <laughs> I feel like he can climb out. <laughs> He's like, oh, did you guys hear that big saw he just did? You're okay. There's not even a fly inside. Look. Yeah. All right. So he's got his grain in there. And we're going to color coordinate his bucket. So the thing I like about this barn is that it's big and open. And we can all fit. So we're going to close this now. The only reason we're closing them in tonight is because I don't want them having grass for more than, like I don't want them eating grass all of a sudden from 12 hours to 24 hours. I want to go slow. So we're just going to gradually increase. <laughs> She's like, oh, I'm the boss now. And this is their water trough. We cleaned it all out today, Sophie and I. It's your spot. Everybody's going to have their spot. Penny's really good about her spot. Sophie's been using this for a hook. So I was worried that this wouldn't be big enough for all of them uh, for at night, and I think it's going to be okay. Is she not getting locked in too? No. Um, yeah? Nope. No. You just open that door and let him go with the stall if you want. We didn't put shavings in his stall. Do you think Storm will jump out? <laughs> you don't think it's high enough? You guys, is this safe? Like, he will get... Yeah, we might have to put bars up. Now I know why people put bars up. Like, if he tries to jump out, don't do that, okay? <laughs> Just don't try that. So Chino's having his food. Oh, why they're not letting her eat? Yeah. Bring her out here then. She's fine for right now, but. Well, you can put shavings in her stall if you want. For her to eat her grain. Yeah, just bring her out for her to eat her grain. Okay. Here goes Matt and Paul. So, we've also. Just bring her out and let her. Just put it right here. We don't have anything organized yet. Until we get them staying out 24 hours, we're throwing hay on the ground, which I hate. You should have just let her stand out here and eat. There's no shavings in there yet. There's no mats? So, no mats even in that one. Just that one has mats and that one has mats. It does close. Um, we're going to be hanging up our hooks out here. 
so that they can have their halters. I love this other halter. Yep, somebody special sent that to us. I love the door. It is so pretty. Isn't it nice? Yeah, well, there's a window up there. Yeah, we need a fan in here. I know. That's another thing. They can wrap their heads around, which is another reason why we probably won't use this one in the middle for now. I'm just going to put honey in there. I love his stall, though. Like, so. He, yeah, you got a sweet storm. Like, look, he's he's standing there. He's just in one corner of it. Look how big it is. <laughs> he looks so funny. He already pooped in it. I love his water and his hay. Uh, we're gonna get his red buckets back. So I'll get those tomorrow. So he has his red buckets. And then there's Chino over there. I love this, you guys. Like, not everybody loves this idea for a barn. Like, all open and stuff. I love it. And so, this is where I put Chino's hay. Chino didn't eat any of that hay. I think he literally has just been eating this grass. There's, like, not really any left. So, we're going to leave this open. Yeah, bring it in here. We're going to leave this open. And we're going to put his, his hay in here for him for the night. All right, so... Chino's got his hay. The beauty of this, Sophie can, Sophie's like, are we locking Chino in? The beauty of this is that everybody can be together safely. I mean, it's like the size of the storm stall. He's not gonna go out though because he's, everybody's here. So. Yeah, so we wanna leave it open for him so that he can go out and he can move around. He has some more hay outside if he wants it. So, um, we're, I have a hay bag for him. I might want water in the corner. You what corner over here? Yeah. But no, that's good there. So the reason I put it there is easy to, um, yeah. no, that's good there. to fill up. There's a plug right here. We're like, thinking about for separated? winter. Well, because you are a, a brat sometimes. Sorry to tell you. <laughs> yeah, that's the plug. Right there. Yeah, so that's why I moved it there. I thought, although if we had kept the water thing over on this wall, it would just be like a line, a cord running. Now it's running here, but anyway, it's fine. They played all day in this little arena area, this little communal stall area. They played in the water. Anyway, so the reason I put the water trough there is because Sam hung the hose up right here and it's just easy to bring it. Yeah, we got the camera system. We have cameras everywhere, but there's a camera there. We can watch and make sure everybody's okay. <laughs> Does he love it? <laughs> Looks so small in there. <laughs> so that. <laughs> so the only reason I makes me worried about him is because if he like, he's really protective of the girls. He saw in, in yesterday's video that he Penny came running towards his little his his little girls and he went running to intercept her. You look cute. Already messing it up though. Three bags of, of shavings and we need like at least five. You just have a nice relaxing night. All right, so that's it. That's our uh, nighttime routine. Scott tells you if he doesn't have enough shavings. How? He makes... Um, he moves his hay and he sleeps on it. He moves... Yeah, he, <laughs> He uses his hay as shavings. Oh. He doesn't have enough. Yeah, he, he no, likes... No, he has enough. He just wants it very... Well, we'll get more shavings tomorrow. <laughs> we weren't expecting you to have so many shavings. We haven't moved everything over Such yet. Such a big stall. <laughs> I know. It's, it's so huge. Stall. I like where you put the salt lick, too. Anyway, that's it for our nighttime routine. We are going to show you all the rest of the stuff that Sophie and I do at night. I tied Bill up right here. Yeah, Sophie's ties below up there. I can put a mat here for you. I can put a mat right here for you. And then we're going to be putting um, mats like here and then cross ties on there. Mat over there and cross ties over there. It's not set up yet. Storms like let me in. I love the stall. Like now I know why you guys love stalls. It's so like neat to see it all set up for them. <laughs> He's like, I'm not eating. I want to be with my girls. Oh, he she's. Wants to go to Storm. Yeah, she might have to go in a stall. We'll keep an eye on her. Hi, Willow's Thrills. Willow's back with her girls. So she only stays with Chino during the day, and then she's back with her girls at night. 
Say See you in the morning. Oh, Charlotte Storm's eating. Good night, guys. So the next thing we do, <laughs> so we put the goats to bed, but we. <laughs> They're so funny now. They are used to us. It didn't take long for these guys to get used to us. <laughs> it's thing. I mean, I feel like they're eating down the grass. <laughs> they know it's bedtime. Um, so at night we open, well actually, I'm just gonna put the other ones to bed and then we'll come back and show them what we do. Because we always let him out. Once we lock the goats in, we let him roam the barn. Come on over here. Come on. Come on. I've decided to call her Rosie. She is Rosie now. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> this is the little boy. And his name is Rocky. That's him right there. Hold on. <laughs> I'm finding it difficult to stay out of all the horns, away from all the horns. Like, hey, be nice or you don't get any. That's it, you guys are done. All five are in. Um, so no, that's- The door's supposed to go the other way. Uh-oh, one's, one's coming out. Push it. The door's supposed to... I'm gonna have to get that Sam that to fix- The door's supposed to be first. Oh yeah, that's why. Anyway, that's the little feeder that I got. So one side is baking soda, one side is um, loose mineral. And then they have that mineral block as well. Oh, Krabby! Careful! These five little goats, literally out in the field, they look like one little teeny tiny pile of goats. Like, we do this every night. Yeah, so every night we take a few minutes and we the cuddle boy. them. Uh, you good. can pick up the boy. No, we can pick them up now. Anyways, they still have free choice hay in here and they have fresh water in here. Hi, baby. This is Blossom. Hi, Blossom. Isn't she adorable? So if we weren't videoing, we would just spend so much time down here and just play with we them. We spend like an hour down here. We spend an hour putting the goats to bed at night. Do you really want to hold the little boy? Do you hey. want to hold him? I don't want to touch them. I want something to pick it up. Hey, <laughs> get out of the grain. <laughs> yeah, so. This is Rocky. Hey, Rocky. He's chubby, <laughs> and he cuddles right into you. Once he's been caught, he's like, fine, and he gives in, and he just snuggles in. He's a little scared still, but he's really he's sweet. He's a little heavy. Yeah, and he's super heavy. All right, so just for anybody All who's new, we have, yeah, so we have Tilly and Rosie, Mocha and Blossom yep. and Rocky. So those are our names. All right, all right. Ollie wants out. All right, so let's go. They're in for the night. I'm out, Gabby. And I know goats don't have to stay in at night, but we keep them in for safety because we do not know. Hey, stay in there. He already knows. Ollie. Oh, and there goes Ollie. So our goal is that. Like, Give me the horn. <laughs> yeah, you're really cute. I eat all day. But they're, come on. I know they're all really cute. So. Um, the goal with the kitty is to keep him in this barn for a couple of weeks. He's really loving it. He likes it so much better. He feels so much more secure. He's not scared of the dogs. Uh, my son and my son was here today and he's like, when Dustpan dies, because she's getting really old, um, she's like 13 years old. When Dustpan dies, we're taking this cat. So we leave his door open and we leave his like kitty litter and his food and everything in here and we leave... Um, and he can come in and go to bed or whatever. So mad. When we find him in the morning, where is he? When we come in the morning, where is he? Sleeping on the stairs. Yeah, he's back in his room, but he sleeps most of the day anyway. So we leave him in there while the door is open. And for now, he's staying in the barn for like the next couple of weeks or so. And that is it for the cat and the goats. They are in bed now. Isn't he cute? Nick love loves him. him. Like, I do not know what happened, but when he went missing for two week, two months, he came back with a new lease on life. Like, he is so cuddly and so sweet now. He wants to be a house cat. Yeah, he wants to be a house cat, but he would hate it in our house because we just have so many dogs. 
If we and the Sophie's room has moving. carpet, and it would just be a disaster. Yeah. Good night, everyone. So you're probably thinking, oh, well, they're done now. <laughs> nope, we're not done yet. Next on the agenda is duck and goose. My son came and saw them today too, and they were in love. Goose is literally the sweetest, cutest thing ever. She talks to us. She's so sweet. She's so regal, and she's Perfect. just such a like, hello. Hello, pretty girl. What? If the dogs chase her, she runs to us for us to save her. And she, like, they just, they're amazing. We love them. All right. Hi, Zoe. Let's, let's go put and them Lucy to bed. And Lucy is getting huge. <laughs> Lucy. Lucy Goosey. Is, Lucy is turning into a goosey. Zoe's talking to you. I know. She's such a pretty girl. I know. We love you, too. And they actually seem to, like, not mind the routine. They go to bed, no problem. Maybe I'll do a morning routine tomorrow too. But yeah, they're like, we still love them so much. I, who do you love better? Out of these? Yeah. Uh, I like them both. I like that she's easier to hold because she's smaller and she can sit on my lap. And I like that she talks. I love the goose. The goose, I like the duck too. She's really cute and sweet. But that Please goose, have geese have so much personality. And her, her fur is turning like a nice brownish kind of taupe color Hi, oh, she's, she's just so sweet she all right let's me. go <laughs> i don't want to be pooped on so uh, we usually carry them to bed she's like let me run <laughs> we usually carry them to bed at night because usually i help <laughs> she's like, she knows run. she's going to bed she's like i don't want to go to bed she wants to go to the swing. <laughs> i know so they also know sophie takes them to the Dad, swing you're okay. several times a day and she, that's where she wants to go she's like oh dang it all right, it's dark in here. So they go in the brooder box with the baby chickens, which are all going to be changed soon now that the horses are home. We are going to be able to build a duck and a goose coop. And then we go we over here. Every night. Yeah, we have a lot to do every night. I mean, we could do it faster. Wait, put the light down. Make sure there's no eggs. I stepped on an egg yesterday. So then we come out and we tuck our chickens into bed. And these are them. So these are the babies that we just bought from TSC. You can tell TSC. one's a definitely a girl is hiding under the others. Yeah. So those are the ones we bought from TSC. Those are the spe spe specific ones we wanted. They lay uh, dark brown eggs, green eggs, and blue eggs. And then those are our chickens over there. They're the ones so that we had before. They're so fluffy. Yeah. So those are our chickens. Go look underneath that, behind that bucket and see if there's eggs. Four eggs. Can you get them? Because there were no eggs yesterday. And I'm like, somebody's hiding eggs on me. Look how cute they are. Oh, I know. I love watching them. So then I pull the board out. Five eggs. And close it so that nobody can get out in the night. I can't get them. All right, here. I'll get them. There's five Let's eggs. wait. Put the light on it. I knew it. I knew there were, like, hiding eggs on me. Put the bucket there so that they don't lay eggs there. Look at that little rooster. We have actually two roosters. That's my favorite chicken right there. That little tiny one? Yep. Yeah, so I love them. We're keeping this rooster. He's, yeah, we're keeping him. He's sweet. Yep. Super he's cute. And then that one on the top there, that white one, it's a rooster too. Really? I'm sure of it. So it's a white barred rock. It's a white barred rock. So basically it's the same breed as that one. All right. And that is it. So sometimes if one, like if they need food or water, I'll top them up to n at nighttime. But mostly I do it in the morning. But days like today when it's so busy. Is it too big? Do you want help? Oh, so we got a new lock for them today. So that's it. <laughs> that is it. I know I have all these eggs in my shirt. We're getting a chicken apron. Yeah, I need a chicken apron. So that is it for our nighttime routine. Sorry about my hair. It was so hot today and we were like doing so much. My hair's always a mess. I brush it and it goes back to... No, your hair's looking so much better at this house. It's, it's we have so soft hot. water at this house. Anyway, that is it for our nighttime routine. I'm going to shoot our morning routine because I'm going to wake up. I wake up early. I wake up earlier than everybody else in the morning. Can't wait. I'm probably going to start shooting a morning routine. We'll show you guys everything that we do in the morning now that the horses are home. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, I forgot to show you guys. Ruby, 
Don't go to the road. That we don't take the dogs yeah. with us when we do chores at night because now that we have the goats, <laughs> I don't want them near the goats yet. So we bring them out at night after we do the chickens. And they run and they play and they act crazy. And then they go out like at 10. Yeah, and then we go back in and then Sam lets them at around 10. Don't you know that you're beautiful?